All right, how you all doing guys? Today we have Samsung introducing their Odyssey Arc 55 inch curved gaming display. And oh boy, this display is phenomenal. And I mean phenomenal because look at the size of that and look at the curve of that. And it's mind blowing. This, if you look into the curve, yeah, that's mind blowing. It's like a TV, but also a gaming monitor, but also a curved crazy monitor that you can find in the market right now. So, yeah, that's crazy. Now, if you look into the specification right here, this is the model G97NB. The screen size is 55 inches. Flat curved is 1000 R curved. That's crazy curve. Aspect ratio, of course, 16 is to 9. Processor is new neural quantum processor ultra matte displays yes and backlight unit and blah 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 concert ratio is how many numbers are that holy one two three four five six okay that's a lot of counts but you get the you get the idea resolution is of course 4k and response time is one millisecond gray to gray of course that really doesn't matter refresh rate is coming at 165 hertz max so it's not the default one it's the max uh, you can overclock it to 165. Precincts Premium Pro, they're coming with. And Samsung Gaming Hub, yes. What else do we have? We have HDMI 2.1, 4EA. We, we need to specify them, you know, because you know, they changed the HDMI uh, trademarks, I guess. I don't know. We have Tilt, Stand Type is Hide, Adjustable Stand, Wall Mount Possible. So everything is possible. That It's very obvious. And yeah, like... It's, it's a crazy monitor, if you ask me. Like, look at the size of that and look at the curve. Mind-blowing. Next up, we have Intel coming with their question of Does my system with Intel graphics support DX9 titles? Well, they have to say that 12th generation Intel processors integrated GPU and ARC discrete GPU no longer support D. XD uh, or D3D9 natively, so it doesn't support DX9. However, they do support via DX12 emulation, and that is a very interesting thing that I uh, figured because you know they're going with the emulation process. As you can see, the integrated GPU on 11th generation and older Intel processors supports DX9 natively, but they can be combined with our GP, our graphics cards. Yeah, possibly. If so, rendering is likely to be handled by the card, not the iGPU, unless the card is disabled. Thus, the system will be using DX9 on tool, which is the emulator we're talking about, instead of DX9. So basically, they're using the DX12 emulator for DX9 titles. So that's interesting. Next up, we have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 GPUs are gonna be going lower by the end of August according to two Chinese news outlet reported by video cards here and they're saying according to like uh, Li Fuangs from Zhao he's, 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 he's quoting that according to the news from the supply chain at the end of August Nvidia and AMD will take more aggressive actions to reduce the price of graphics cards of which Nvidia will cut prices more than AMD so Nvidia is cutting the price and we've already seen it from EVGA they're cutting the 3090 Ti to go down to like 1500 or even 1300 which was around 2500 the 3090 Ti right so yeah it's a huge fall in pricing and now we're, we're, we're hearing that more price drops coming for all the cards from Nvidia and AMD especially Nvidia because well Nvidia cards have been astronomically expensive now well and the, at the end of the august we'll be seeing some price drops and not surprising because the newest gener newest generation of uh gpus are coming in so i'm excited next up we have simply nook and yeah wall street canyons from intel is coming or is here already not coming it's already here right here is the listing and as you can see the highest end model the Nook 12W SHI 7 full, which comes with, okay, interesting, which comes with Intel Core i7 1260p, Intel Iris XC graphics, 4 gigs of DDR4 memory, 250 gigs, uh, M.2, and free OS installation, of course. And if you look into the i5 model, is 
It's i5 1240B and the same similar specs. The pricing, as you can see, 779 euros, excluding the VAT. 599 for the i5 model and another i7 model that is 779. Wait, wait, is it the same model? Yeah, it's the same model. Yeah, they're, they're basically double posting it, but anyway. So Intel Nook is here for the 1290p models from i7 and i5. So yeah. Next up we have Raichu, a known leaker, is providing information about the 3900K having 60 to 70 percent of decompression uh, performance in 7 zip. As you can see here, this is the 3900K uh, test results with, again, let me clarify, 6400CL34 memory. Compared with, as you can see, the result of 12900K right here. And if you look into the scores, we're looking at 513 megabyte, megabytes. I don't know what this says because it's in Chinese or Japanese. Chinese probably. Uh, and the kilobits, kilobytes per second, uh, that's probably the spe speed. And it's, uh, well, how many scores is that? 150581. Yeah, that's a, that's a big number. That's a huge number. And if you look into the 12900K right here, yes, yeah, it's, it's lower. 126250 kilobytes per second. And also the size is 384 megabytes. So, yeah, we're seeing a, a, le a lower speed. I think this is the speed, but I could be wrong. This one could be the potential speed right here. So, yeah. We're seeing a huge performance increase, 60 to 70 per percent in decompression. So it, it's kind of big, huge. Not sure if uh, they used 12900K with the. Uh, oh, he says same condition. So I guess he's, he's using the same 6400 CL34 memory, hopefully. Then it makes it fair. Probably is. And now we have AMD from their official uh, press release coming with their. Next generation Ryzen processors release date, which is August 29, which has already been leaked and now it's coming from the PR, of course. And they're going to be live streaming the event to unveil the next generation Ryzen processors. So, yeah, we'll be seeing that in their own YouTube channel that they have and they're going to be releasing the processors. And probably might tease some GPU information too. We don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Next up, we have... A leak and it's not a leak it's more like a confirmation coming from a reviewer a reviewer and that is they're going for uh, is giving us the information that they're gonna be uh, AMD specifically will be delaying their launch for the Ryzen 7000 processor release it was September 15th but now it has been delayed and the reason they have delayed it to September 27th, as you can see right here, to counter the Intel 13th generation of Raptor Lake. So they're going to be competing, which is nothing surprising because it's Intel, right? Big competition coming in. So that's why they're delaying the release. Yeah, basically the release of the processor, or the launch, not the release, the launch of the processors to September 27th from September 15th so not a big big uh, delay it's a small delay but in that reason is clear that Intel is gonna be releasing their third, third generation core Raptor Lake S desktop CPU so yeah it's gonna be a crazy fight I guess lastly we have Wild C in the Twitter showing off the a leak from Sky Juice and that is a leak of the Navi 3X render models. And if you look into them right here, that is the Navi 33. And as you can see right there, it's a monolithic die. Very much clarified that it's going to be monolithic. But the other two, as you can see, Navi 32 and Navi 31, they're going to be based on MCM. And well, they're going to be one GCD for both Navi 31 and Navi 32, but four MCDs for Navi 32 and six MCDs for Navi 31. So that really just clarifies the leaks and everything. It also clarifies the die size as you can see here. If you look into the more, this is the 
Navi 31, the highest end. And it looks, you know, it looks nice. 16 megabytes of uh, infinity cash and in total is going to be 92, I believe. That was the league. Oh, 96. No, 92. 96. That's more accurate. And that's the... Well, Navi 32. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be 64-bit, uh, megabit, megabytes. And the lastly, we have the monolithic from Navi 33. It's going to be monolithic die, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Because it's going to be the lower end the GPUs anyway. But still, I would, you know, wanted to see an monolithic, or uh, not monolithic, uh, MCM design. But we're seeing it in Navi 31 and 32, and it makes sense because, you know, they're going for that route. They're gonna achieve more performance with this kind of technology or architecture so kind of nice if you ask me all right this is it for today i hope you enjoyed that and what do you think about these uh die leaks do you think it's too big i mean maybe not <laughs> it's a weird question to ask but hey i don't have a, any question in my mind so yeah have a good day